Scorpio, welcome to your weekly tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries Tarot. It's going to include an astrology overview as well. Scorpio, this is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Rising sign. Please, guys, do interpret all the energy that I share with you where it resonates in your life because this is your reading. So if it, if it resonates with you in career when it was supposed to be for romance, it's correct because that's how it's, the energy is impacting you, where in your life it's impacting you. There's always an extended reading and I do pray that you will come over because there's lots of great stuff that come out in the extended reading, like exact dates. So um, the links are below and I'll attach it to the end of this video so you can click right on it and move right there. If you love this content, please remember to show that love by liking the video and subscribing to the channel. And if you really love my content, I have a second YouTube channel called Astrology Motivation where I go live every weekday and you can live chat me while I do a general tarot card reading and astrology overview for the day. Scorpio, let's... <sighs> okay. Let's get into, we have four cards, four cards have come out. Um, and I have my little sheet here just to review some of the astrology. This isn't overall, not just for Scorpios, but overall, this isn't a huge week astrologically. It's a pretty, it's a pretty peaceful week and things are unraveling in a good way. Now, one thing that does impact you directly is the sun's conjunction with Pluto, which has been happening, happened all last week. It is breaking up this week to the point where I wouldn't even think that it's really a conjunction anymore since it's by the time this video is coming out, it's between it's about six degrees of separation. And so it's a weak conjunction because some people count conjunctions up to 10 degrees. I would only count that really in a natal chart. In terms of transits, this isn't a strong conjunction anymore. So if you feel like sort of the dynamic or pressure or, or even a little bit of charisma and confidence has left you, it's because the sun and Pluto are moving, moving farther away from each other as the sun moves further into Aquarius and Pluto, though not standing still, is still at 28 degrees Capricorn. Overall, though, this is, not, this is not a bad thing. We have a lot going on with Mars. Mars is actually in a beautiful position to the sun this week. It's going to be trying the sun all week. What does that mean for you? Energy. It means that you are going to be fueled in terms of your energy systems. Your passion and your purpose are really going to be fueling you and in some ways clarifying things for you this week. I do have some specifics written down because I wanted, I wanted to, I wanted to um, relay them to you. So Mars, which is your traditional ruling dignitary, Pluto. So after Tuesday, Wednesday is largely unaspected, which is a really powerful and um, unpredictable kind of energy. But it just gives you the sense of really just <laughs> anything could happen. From Pluto's perspective and then we have Mars which is your traditional ruling dignitary it's direct now moving forward it's still in Gemini so a lot of action taken is going to be through words knowing what to say and saying them with power um, not waiting for somebody else to speak first but we have the sun um, is trying to Mars and then sextile to Mars is Chiron. And that's where I really want to get dig down. The truth has set you free, free from pain, no more suffering. And that means that there could be some physical healing that you're going to be experiencing this week or just the healing from being able to finally speak and say what you needed to say, especially in retaliation or return for things that had been said to you, being able to work through them and learn. Learning is the way that all of this starts to make sense. Learning is the way that all of this starts to become like worth it. If you had suffered from something somebody said or didn't say in the past. Now, um, take action on the issues with regard, but you're going to. It's going to almost be natural that you're finally going to be able to speak up for yourself and say something. Now, mid Scorpios, and when I'm talking about mid, I'm talking about people that are maybe their birthdays are between, say, like the maybe the 25th to November 3rd, somewhere around there. Um, 
you guys, the North Node is right on top of your natal sun. No, sorry, the South Node. So, so there is a sense of really knowing why you came into the world, what, what purpose you entered the world, and maybe even having some past life flashbacks with regards to realizing why you feel so good about your comfort zone aspects in your in your in your in your chart like there's 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 like almost like making peace with where you come from as well as um accepting sort of the wisdom that it gives you to help you to help you out um now hold on for you guys especially sort of early to mid scorpios um the south node is conjuncting your natal sun this south node is trying to venus so it's kind of like making the peace with the past when it comes to your romantic situations or your financial situations um you can think back to how things had worked now so this may trip you up a little bit but thinking back to how things worked in the past could help guide you to a certain degree but you could also get stuck there so it's kind of like finally finding that harmony of realizing i can't keep doing things the way that i've been doing it in the past because the past doesn't always apply and sort of being open to then transforming to trying something new but it's because you've really incorporated everything that you got comfortable with or the way that you used to do things you've really incorporated that and now you're ready to move on and learn more um so may have issue with the execution of applications i said that about mid scorpios and i can't remember the chart but i really want to get i really wanted to tell you guys that or i wouldn't have written it down because of expectations versus reality based on what you've done in the past um it's not the same um that will be what is holding you back this is the challenge of those early to mid scorpios a sense of being so comfortable and feeling so good you think everything's been taken care of because remember trines while they're very harmonious it's also kind of it can be lazy it could be lazy energy oh everything's fine everything's all good i've done this before it'll be okay i just want to let you guys know especially like really really don't get too comfortable because things have changed and if you and your expectations can make that turn that trying it from harmony into discomfort really quick because you sat back and you rested on your laurels too much and you might not be noticing something that's right in front of you because you're still seeing it through the eyes of your comfort zone I just want to bring that to your attention let's get into the cards um, yeah see this is this is a card that speaks to not always seeing what's in front of us why because maybe we have to you have too much going on maybe things have been a little bit overwhelming for you i mean it's not doesn't have to be for bad reasons right but scorpio this is the mentality of maybe either not being interested or somebody that somebody's not really interested in what you're offering it's a great offer i mean this is like ace of cup status but you're you're not seeing it somebody's not aware of just what the wonderfulness in front of them is because they've got too much other stuff going on could it be a sign that they don't care sure it could be it doesn't have to be though sometimes it's just that we're so fixated on what is comfortable for us we're not seeing the new thing that's even better and that's why i want you to like pick your head up a little bit every once in a while this week Scorpio and look around you and see what's going on like do yourself that favor especially those Scorpios who are you know born late October early November especially you guys it's gonna it's going to be extra challenging because you're gonna be like oh I'm all good it's all cool it's not it's not there's something else going on around you and it's okay to be happy with what you have absolutely but there's just this sense of don't miss out let's keep going we have happiness contentment we have beauty we have wonderment we have we have joy joy so okay i'm just gonna call it out 
I want to be straight with you guys. This is about somebody thinking everything is fine in their relationship, their home life, their job. Oh, they think it's everything is hunky-dory because they don't realize that somebody else is looking for options. Warning. Warning. And why? Because of the card that's coming up now. Eight of Swords. If you guys follow Tara, you know what this means. This is abandonment. This is somebody hightailing it out of there. This is about somebody leaving, somebody walking away, or even somebody getting fired. Right? Somebody being hoodwinked. Why? Because somebody's too distracted. I'm not saying it's you. It could be them. It could be them. You take it how it resonates in your life, but somebody is too distracted by everything they got going on to the point where they have lulled themselves into a state of contentment or oh, everything's good, everything's wonderful, the, you know, they're not looking elsewhere or they don't care. That's bull. That's bull because somebody's about to be left behind because somebody really wants to be single again. Somebody really wants to be on their own. Somebody feels good enough. Maybe somebody has enough money at this point. Now, I know I'm setting this up as a warning. This could be actually good news for you. <laughs> this could be exactly what you're waiting for. Like, like kind of like sleeping with the enemy status. Have you ever seen that Julia Roberts movie? She waits for the perfect time to plan her escape from an abusive situation. This is somebody is, but it's, but it's still the same energy. Somebody is so distracted by the fact that they've been in their comfort zone for so long, they don't see that somebody else about to get a fuck up and leave. This could have to do with your, and I'll tell you this right now. If 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 this is you guys, it could be not a warning, but like. Um, a message of now's the time to go. Now's the time when they are easily distracted and they won't see and you can get away. So that could actually help you out a lot because contentment with the past now is gonna lull somebody into a state of distraction and complacency. They don't know that something's about to come. They don't know that something's about to happen. And if you're trying to, you're in a situation where you need to escape or, you know, get, get out of a situation, this is the time to do it. This is the time to do it. You'll be happy that you did if that's you. Whoever, whoever is doing it, whoever's doing the escaping, they're, they're going to be very happy that they did it. Somebody else is going to feel like, wait, 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 this is coming out of the blue. This is coming out of the blue. It actually isn't coming out of the blue. It's kind of been in front of the loser in this situation. I don't mean to call anybody a loser like judgment, but like the person who, who lost out, you know, for many years to come isn't going to have seen it coming. Lots came out. It's going to have, they're not going to have seen it coming. And for years to come, it's going to bring them a lot of pain, a lot of suffering. Maybe this is where Chiron is involved. Maybe we're looking to the future here, this sense of something's about to happen that you didn't see coming that could cause a lot of pain because, and this is where the hard lesson comes from, right? You gotta learn the hard way sometimes. You gotta learn the hard way because people have tried to explain it and it just doesn't get through to the stank ass head, right? It just doesn't get through. Something here is like is like that. This is coming up in the future. Let's get into the nitty gritty of where this is coming from. Somebody's already networking with somebody else. Somebody's already looking for options. They've been thinking about this for a while. Whoever is going to get hoodwinked just didn't see it. But somebody's already started that networking, maybe through social media. So I'll tell you right now. This is a great week. Oh, man. Astrologically, Mercury is trying to Uranus. So if anything's going on online, if you guys have been scouting new jobs and stuff like that, like this has been going on for a while. This is the time when especially networking over the internet because Mercury is direct. It started to move forward. It's still trying to Uranus. The trine is going to get tighter as the week goes on. This is the time to do it. This is the time to shed your message, spread your message, reach out with your CV or application or connect with somebody who is going to give you options. For those of you who are looking to move, this is a great time. You're going to find options. Stop. That could be for some of you. Maybe some of you are thinking of moving home 
or heading home. This is very specific. This actually feels like somebody's personal reading, but it seems like somebody's going back to their home or maybe one of their children are returning somebody's coming back maybe somebody's gonna come back because they're running away or getting away from somebody else they need to come back and live at home again right that could be you it could be somebody that you love we'll get deeper into that when it comes to the extended reading there's still more cards on this table um we have Queen of Swords, which is deciding on a new direction because you're sticking up for yourself and you refuse to bow down on your standards. We have Seven of Wands and Seven of Cups. This sense of confusion, delusion, or using sleight of hand. It's almost strategy. Somebody could be using sleight of hand. Like they're making you think that they're fighting, that, that, that they don't want to give up. Right, they're making you think that they're gonna keep fighting, but it's a delusion. And somebody's gonna be really surprised because it's it's not. There is going to be some somebody's gonna be brokenhearted or bad news here. This could also just be worry. Now, so nine of nine of swords is sometimes just, just worrying about a situation. Um, so let's confirm whether or not this is just a worry. I don't think for all of you it's it's just a worry. I think that for some of you, we can go ahead and confirm right now, you know, what you think is happening. I think you're trying to make yourself believe better or somebody's trying to make themselves believe better, which means they're, they're struggling with what they already know intuitively is coming. Somebody is struggling. And I say somebody because it could be you, it could be them. You can always reverse the energy that I describe. What do the moon cards give us? A time to give rather than take. New moon in Virgo. Balance spirituality with practicality. Full moon in Pisces. Hold your vision. Fixed moon. A sense of not giving up. You know, this could just be the sense of somebody refuses to give up because they have a vision in their head and they're just hoping that everybody else is on the up and up with them. A time to give rather than take so I feel like this is you really in a giving mode really trying to make this work really hard but balance spirituality with um, with practicality is it's almost like somebody's over giving they're overextending their kindness they're doing too much to continue to make what they want to happen happen even though on some level psychically they already know it's not gonna happen It's kind of like, God, I wish I had a, a movie to reference this um, for you guys. It's kind of like, I'm just going to give an example. This doesn't have to be you. But like that, that person who knows that their fiance is, is cheating on them. They already know it. They've caught them, but they keep denying it to themselves. Lying, 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 lying. And they're distracting themselves by continuing to go ahead and make res uh, um, reservations and... Um, plans for the wedding oh yeah I'm just gonna I'm just gonna like brush over the fact that I've read all these texts that uh, confirm that they're cheating I've seen the emails it wasn't me it wasn't you know like it is but somebody's deciding to like believe like continue on through delusion when they know it's already over so this could also, like, say this could be you, right? Like, in terms of your job. You know you hate it there. You know it's over. You know they're probably going to let you go. Why are you still there? Why are you still... Because we're just hanging on to the delusion that it's all going to stay the same. It's not going to stay the same. It's not going to stay the same. That sun conjunct Pluto catalyzed things. So you're going to be feeling the effects of those changes for a while. So it's not going to stay the same. So how is this changing? How is this changing? Somebody also could not want the same thing with regards to family. You know, it's like somebody's not thinking what you think they're thinking. Or you're not thinking what they think you're thinking. I just want to let you know that right now. Um, so we have, we, have, we have the chariot here again. So that is moving forward, moving on. And all of the cards with regards to move on 
My Queen of Swords is always my GPS card. The Two of Wands moving someplace else. We've got the Chariot twice. Somebody's going. Somebody's leaving. We have the Queen of Pentacles here. They might be leaving for work. Six of Cups, going back home, going toward work, or connecting. Maybe somebody has fallen in love with a, an earth sign, a feminine earth sign, but somebody's distracted. Somebody's not interested. Or somebody's not interested in leaving too. But I think it's more like, like, like somebody has been intentionally ignoring the fact that somebody else is really happy that they're about to just take off. And like I said, this could work for you. Take it as it resonates. It doesn't have to be bad news. This could be the perfect time to be interviewing for new jobs, applying for new jobs, because your boss is so distracted or so overworked, they don't see, they don't see what they need to see and half their team could be leaving. You know, it could be something like that. With, so it's not necessarily bad for you, but it is just like the person who is like kind of trying to convince themselves that based on the past everything is okay and everything is going to stay the same no it's not let's go to the extended i'll see you guys there